not used to getting clapped for like that. <laughs> not in Boston. Every year we have a few celebrities, uh, professional athletes or actors and uh, musicians, and uh, last year uh, one of those people uh, people was uh, was Dwayne. It's called the the Business of Entertainment, Media and Sports, which is a four day uh, program here at Harvard. I just came here as a student, wanting to learn, and once I got here, um, you know, I really start. I was very interested into the case studies and. You know, we sat down and talked to Anita about, you know, kind of looking at my brand, you know, looking at my business and seeing, you know, ways that, you know, we can be better. We had this idea, well, why don't we come back and share, you know, some of the things you, you know, you learned here and um, give our students the opportunity to, you know, listen to someone who is perceived as successful. I was very nervous when I came here. You think shooting free throws with down one with about two seconds left is nerve-wracking? Come to Harvard for the first time. I just wanted them to experience Dwayne, and uh, not just as a as a basketball player, obviously, and, and not just as a business person, but mostly as a man. I just knew that if the students saw that side of him, that they would be in awe. I think we all are driven by something, you know, in our lives. You know, for me, I was driven by uh, my upbringing, you know, and I wrote a book about it, but my mom being on drugs uh, most of my childhood. Uh, my dad being addicted to alcohol. We grew up in um, south side of Chicago, and you know, it was either uh, it was either in the game or in a game. I had a determination that I was going to be something, and I was going to be um, an NBA player. And I put all I put everything into it. It's very interesting to see a guy like him, who really did not have a whole lot of things going for him when he was coming up, turn that into just massive worldwide success, and now think realistically about what he's going to do with that how he's going to really capitalize on the on the brand that he's built. You know, I'm just trying to uh, to build the, the Wade empire. It's kind of like I'm trying to build like a, a Walmart for the Wade brand. One-stop shop, you can get everything. <laughs> they got a Wade mark, got a nice ring to it. The one thing I always try to do, when, especially when I'm talking, I try not to be too serious until it's a, a question that I feel needs a, a serious moment. But outside of that, I just try to keep it light, and I try to keep people um, entertained and you know and wanting to you know go to you know what's next. Let's open it up for some questions. You gotta go heat jersey Thanks. first. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Clearly, I'm a huge Heat fan. Uh, Miami native, uh, born and raised in Hialeah. Um, <laughs> The biggest thing what I enjoy is the questions. You see how much, you know, th they're into it. Uh, and you can tell how much they're listening. And just, you know, that's my favorite part is when you're able to sit and have, yeah, answer the questions that they have. Um, like I said, it's a Friday night. They gave up their Friday. Um, but being in school all week to come here tonight to spend some time with me, so it's cool. When I hear that he's coming to my university, it's like, it's not a question. I'm going to be there. I camped out two hours ahead to get into get in this room. Growing up in the Miami, Miami area, to be able to speak to him and get his perspective on not just basketball, but just being a person, his leadership, his honesty, it's really amazing to see. I'm so proud to, and, and honored to meet Dwayne Wade, but it was great to see how honored and humbled he was to be here at Harvard and meeting us. This was not going to be, I'm here just trying to look good on the cameras. This was going to be Dwayne Wade talking to a room of students and giving us his actual thoughts. I think each individual in here should do what makes them, you know, the happiest. And that doesn't mean it's going to make you the most money. I don't think it's, that means it's going to make you the most popular, but it'll make your life feel the most fulfilled. You know, it's always about, you know, trying to better yourself. And, you know, that's, what, that's all it's about. And, you know, even for myself, someone who is, you know, is looked at as, you know, successful, you know, just showing, you know, um, kids that you can always learn more. You know, you never know it all. There's always, you know, another level.